Listen, Linda. 26 hours. Military time? Noble One, this is Noble Actual. Because time moves differently? Noble One, go ahead. We need that base taken out, son. What's your status? Still outside. Thermal on the interior show standing room only. We're gonna have to send them out or we'll be way too popular. Copy that, Noble One. Holland out. Also, someone pointed out on my YouTube video that we Holland got, got cat killed. So let's stay focused and get it done. Six, are you in position? Affirmative. Good. Execute. Affirmative. Enemy up ahead. Covenant owned this sector now, but they're defending for a major strike, not a small group infiltration. Eliminate all hostile ground air defenses so the rest of Noble can land at sword base for the torch and burn. Keep a low profile. That is a we'll cool deal, too. I thought that, too. This it would have a longer day. Here. Isn't that cool? 28 hours. That right, is such a we'll cool you. detail. Oh, my God. I just tried to use the eagle on Assassin's Creed. I think that we could pro... Do I have a... I thought I had a jetpack. Oh. down. Watch for bodies. Um, actually, let's go this way. Oh, I like the music. Aww. That's sad. They said Leo So much help. I'm with you, Lieutenant. I want that. All yours. I'm being engaged. <laughs> Noble sixty nine. Seem like overkill. Sending us back here for a simple demo up. Only thinks it's worth it. I love a meal. I'll tell you something. Ooh. It tells me things ain't so simple. What it's do you like mean? Get the cover. What is happening? Why is it not so simple? <laughs> Does anyone want to hop in? Clear. You guys want to hop in? Let's get moving. Okay. Uh, somebody take out that turret. That's the way. <laughs> Air, whenever you are, oh, the 
What anti-air? What are you talking about? All tangos neutralized. Get a move on, Noble Six. Our Falcons are standing by. Carter, we're all grieving, but I can't, I can't put the pedal to the metal in this car. It's slow. There we go. AA guns dead ahead, Lieutenant. Time to go to work, Noble Six. Take out those guns. We got tangos. Someone died. Apologies. I'm confused because why am I going this way? What is happening? It is no. Why can't it? First target neutralized. Fuck. Stand by. Guys, what is the inside the place, Lieutenant? Let's get me help, buddy. Make it fine. Where? From who? Oh my god. I literally cannot turn around. I have to drive whatever way it wants. Can somebody 
six. Get over here. Covey's all over the base. Watch some cover. I'll get there. Buddha, thank you so much for the 25 months. Everyone died. Everyone died on my tank. Okay, guys. Then I wonder. I'm going to grab something else because we all did. He's getting annoyed. He is. But we're all grieving, you know? Anytime, Noble Six. Get inside the base. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Drives precisely when she means to. Okay, I didn't know what I was looking at. Shuck. Shuck. <laughs> that, I, I bet that means shit. Shuck. How's everyone doing emotionally? You good? Meal. Let me look at your cute face. Mm -hmm. What do you need? Oh, I just wanted a kissy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to move. <laughs> I don't want to move further. Wait, I don't even know where to go. Okay. rat it's a freaking rat what the i will be taking this thank you Yeah, 
something uh, I can't decide no I'm <sighs> talking what just happened who did that me did I fucking do that did I do that <laughs> maybe I'm too goofy to play this today eh if it wants me to be sad it'll make me sad no, what? I'm not doing that. Why is it making me do that? <laughs> Stop pressing the button. Hi, Mercy. Where are we going now, boss? God. Please proceed to the prearranged coordinates. Cryptic. You know as much as I do. Noble oh. Four. Auntie Dot is also sassy, like Cortana. You know as much as I do. Um. Oh, here. We're close. Up the ramp to the right. noble team because they're gonna kill that cute alien because i will i will not allow for a war crime to happen you guys can't kill that it sucks because i think the people that wouldn't kill that are dead now george and cat would not no stop please i don't want to have to kill you carter carter i don't want to have to kill you Killed it. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> it's a little funny, but it's not. <sighs> mm! You. You. This is it. In here. That's a lot of dead people. But it makes cute noise as well. Looks like they got themselves cornered, it's just a baby. or were committed to the position. I'm going with cornered. There's nothing here. No load bearing columns either. Sir, if we're supposed to blow this place, this ain't the spot to do it from. Dot, check your vector. Vector confirmed, Commander. We are precisely where Oni has directed. Apologies. Coordinates revised. Please confirm. Revised? By an AI of unknown origin, whose clearance is well above my own. Well, it's pointing us a click and a half east and 2,000 feet underground. Is that Cortana? I didn't bring my shovel, Commander. Sir, I say we go AI free on this one. Obviously, these coordinates are junk and the longer we go chasing. 
I would trust. I would trust our baby. Our revised route will now. All right, we came this far. Yeah, I agree, Carter. I think that could be Cortana, right? Because I finished the book, and she's there. Secret tunnel. As danger. <sighs> Your new AI friend tell you anything else, Dot? Dot. Could Halsey She's have told us? You. That's perfect. Apologies for the unusual security yeah, measures, thank Commander, you. but the stakes demand it. Dr. Halsey. Casualty reports have you listed as... Yes, well, as they say, news of my death has been greatly exaggerated. I only wish the same could be said of the rest of Noble Team. We all do, ma'am. It may please you to learn that the data module Noble 2 procured from Visegrad Station contained precisely what my scientist promised. A latchkey discovery that has unlocked, at last, the secrets of this excavation. Not sure I understand. Your orders were a pretext to bring you to me and have been overridden. You are here, Team Noble, to ensure the delivery of this vital data to a secure location. Doctor, our orders are to destroy all sensitive material. Others will handle the demolition. I'll need to confirm this new directive with command. Colonel Holland will be briefed. You belong to Oni now. You belong to Oni? You belong to Oni? Before you is an alien artifact neither human nor covenant in origin, advanced beyond our comprehension until now. Thanks to Noble 2, the decrypting of its data is nearly complete. Whatever we're doing down here, we'd better do it quick. Have your data ready, ma'am. We're coming to you. The decrypting process is still underway. I don't think you understand. We're out of time. If it isn't portable when we reach you, it's gonna get buried. Bury any of it, and you bury mankind's best chance for survival. Why are you getting mad at Commander, us? you've been wondering what your Spartans died for? They died for this. Please, buy me all the time you can. Okay, thank you for the please. Let's find Halsey's lab. Move. Oh my Commander, god. Commander, I'm seeing turrets already in defensive positions. Great. Only was expecting company. They sure as hell got it. Doctor, we have hostiles inbound. Mm. Spartans, you cannot allow the Covenant to break through the door to my lab. Understood. <laughs> Let's give the doctor the time she needs. I mean, she said team, she made it make sense because we have to the get them online and quick. Make their deaths worth when the something. If they take too much damage, they'll shut down to recharge. You'll need to reactivate them when they come back online. Noble Six, activate the turret to set up a perimeter. Okay. How? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. I'm not doing that. I don't know why it's throwing grenades. They're landing out of range across the bridge. I need more time. Whatever you have to do, do it. They really want to tinker around in your lab, in your private laboratory. The grunts really want to play in there. They want to. They want to do your coin game that you did with Master Chief, Halsey.
What's firefight mode? Guys, watch it with the spoilers, please, and back seating. Weird gun, what the hell? There we go. Oh, that's sad. Billion health bags. Will they hold the line? <laughs> hold on, Spartans. I'm getting close. Heads up. Okay, cool. <sighs> I think I like this one better, honestly. Oh. 
recharging. Turret recharging. annoying to try to hit. Like, come on. I'm getting real pissed off right now! I'm getting real pissed off right now! The package is almost ready. Just a little more. Is that Cortana? Is the package Cortana? It's a rhetorical question, I guess. That's my prediction. More confident. Get your defenses ready. More. Bitch. Okay, I'm gonna try to rocket launcher. It. Oh, nice. Okay, let's actually snipe them. Oh my god, this is so fun. Oh my god, hey! It is a Halo Legends episode. Oh my god. Imagine if she's like, it's me. I'm the whole package. <laughs> I'm the package. Mama Halsey, come to mama. I'm opening the laboratory door. Okay. Open it then. Get to the lab. That's beautiful. What is this stuff? Knowledge. A birthright from an ancient civilization. Oops. I was just taking pictures. This AI is its custodian, and she has chosen you as her couriers. Chosen? By an AI? It has to be Cortana. By this AI, yes. <laughs> her measure of you carries as much weight as my own. Perhaps more. You are to take her to the UNSC shipbreaking yard in Azad. There, you'll find a Halcyon-class cruiser waiting to get her off-planet. I understand. Do you? Mankind is outmatched. When Reach falls, and it will fall, our annihilation is all but certain. Unless... we can glean from this artifact a defense against the Covenant. A game-changer on the level of the conical bullet in the 19th century, or faster than light travel in the 23rd. And what if we can't? An apt question, if there were somewhere else to place our hope. There is not. I'm, silent. I'm smiling because I love her. I love Cortana, and I love that she chose them. Take it, Lieutenant. She has made her choice. Me? Oh! Oh! Do you have it? Yes. Say the words, please. I have it. Oh! That's so sweet! That is so special to me! <laughs> Dr. Halsey, Noble 3 will escort the castle base. 
I require no escort, Commander. June, make sure nothing falls into enemy hands. I'll do what's necessary, sir. Good luck. You too, Rifleman. I need a heading dot. At three kilometers north, turn right, heading zero five zero. Which leads to? The shipbreaking yards in Azod. The only off-planet extraction point left on this continent. Small-scale air attacks have decimated many convoys en route. An armada of Covenant cruisers is hastening to the site as well. UNSC cruiser Pillar of Autumn is awaiting your arrival. Wouldn't be a noble mission if it were easy. <laughs> yep. A look at the view. Oh, okay. Wow. Dang, that sounded like June said he would kill her instead of letting her get captured. And I think that is 100% true. And I think Halsey understood that and was like, yeah. Noble leader, seek immediate medical attention. Noble leader. Please respond. Carter? Please respond. Sierra 259. You are alarming me. What Not happened? sure how long she's gonna stay together. Skies are jammed up anyway. Gotta get you off her, Lieutenant. Sir, you... Don't wanna hear it. Get the package to the autumn. Done. Not yet, it's not. Emil, go with her. It's a ground game now. It's been an honor, sir. Likewise. I'll do what I can to draw their fire. Six. That AI chose you. She made the right choice. On my mark. Mark! <laughs> I just like race race you to her is so childlike. Just deliver that package. Here's our destination, Six. Hello, boy. Racing to
trying to sneak and be sneaky. And my noble six is like, nope, we're not. We're not listening to that. Edition, it's like Death Stranding. Oh my god, let's go, let's go. I got it. Yeah! You know, oh. Enemy forces blocking the road ahead. Well, not for long. Wait, find alternate route through the caves? No, thank you. you got Emil's here, yes. I love that Emil is like, we get our moment together at the end. Can you stop? What is wrong with you? How did he get here? The power of friendship. Me and Emil. <laughs> yep, that's a thing that could happen because I did that to. Oh, a naked brute! He's naked. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. Watch out, Emil. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Emilio? Okay, get off. Where's Carter? And where's June? Never know. 
Oh my god. Be careful! I'm going this way? I don't like that music. Crumpet, thank you for the sub. I don't know why I wore makeup today because I knew this was happening. Noble, you've got a no. situation. No, what is Momo. it? We can get past this, sir. No, you can't. Not without help. He's gonna Amanda, sacrifice himself. You don't have the firepower. I've got the map. Thank you, voices. Silent cop. Hit him on, boys. You're on your own, Noble. Carter out. Crevice to the east. Let's go. I really am valuing this time with a meal. <laughs> because if it wasn't a meal there, like what if, what would George have said? What would, you know, it, the fact that it was a meal to kind of encourage him, I think he would have done it anyways, but. Nuts. What's this? Okay. Buggers. Go quiet. Too late. This is Captain Keys of the Pillar of Autumn. Keys! We are tracking you, Noble, and we've begun our launch sequence. Oh my God! See the dry dock, platform D. I'll be on hey, it myself. Hey, buddy! I love you so much. We'll be there, sir. Better be, soldier, because my countdown is no abort. Spartan, over here! meal surviving this dot died with carter dot knew she was like <laughs> she was like this is captain keys of the pillar of autumn 
We are tracking um, Anobel and we've begun our launch sequence. Proceed to dry dock. Platform this AI D. is far I'll superior be on it to mine. I'll myself receive the package. We'll be there, sir. Yes, we will. You better be, soldier, because my countdown is no abort. Oh, that was a... <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at all. Whoa. Mark, over here. Oh, my God. Everyone and their mom are dying. right in front of him. <laughs> no false thing. That's pretty, pretty brave of you. Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought that was a meal. I was like, wait, <laughs> what? Let's do this one. Um. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. We gotta look a little closer. This is Captain Keys. Oh, I love Keys that sword robot. gloss. With we whose channel is that? We've begun our launch sequence. Proceed to dry dock, platform D. I'll be on it myself to receive the package. And you will fall in love. Better be, soldier, because my countdown is no abort. It's a global Twitch email? Oh, whoops. <laughs> I assume we're going up. Oh my God, the storm. Hit him fast and hard.
Wait, wait, wait. Oh, here it is. confused. I didn't know if I was going up higher there or what. So, thank you. Thank you for the clarification. Poor guy. Oh my gosh, <gasps> this is so weird. through that structure across the way. Punch through. We'll back you up. Am I still going this way? The rain. me out with 
these hunters. Oh god. You want me to keep moving? You don't want to kill them? Like you got this all way. I kind of appreciate the difficulty of the Reach Hunters, not gonna lie. That might sound weird, but I do like that they're harder. <laughs> Emil! He's like, Cortana, the AI chose you, okay? The AI chose you. So you got this. going for someone else. hunters like i've tried everything and i feel like a assault rifle is so good for hunters because you can be mobile with it and get a few shots in and this is like i'm only just now learning how you have to be like right up close to them hey guys can we switch oh i didn't mean for that to happen to you Thank you! Ah, I love that my skills are culminating. Okay. Cortana's like, I chose her and she's a dumbass. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just like Master Chief, she is a dumbass. I'm here. It's so cute though, because remember how he said, like, no lone wolf stuff, okay? And then, um, Chief does that and he has a habit of doing that too. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. You see Wuna? That's Yuna in the background. She's like ready to support me emotionally when I need it. The end of the game. I need a long range weapon. You can come in here if you want. Emil. Hey, Emil. This is what I was. Doing. 
Shields. I too cool for my dress. These shades don't leave my head. Everything you say is so irrelevant. He's doing a platform. I'm good. so cool for my things. There's something in another. Da -na 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 be so obvious. Wow, you can do the things and stuff. You can do the things and Case stuff. And Cause I'm too We're cool. running out of time here, Spartans. Too so, cool. To know you. Don't get it personal. Don't get emotional. You know it's the truth. I'm too cool for you. You think you're hot, but I'm sorry, you're not exactly who you think you are. Da -da 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 when I walk into the room, I'm too cool for you. Yeah, Brock really did change the world. In line with Noble Six, like, and the Noble team, Camp Rock literally saved everything. Oh yeah, I think the singing was on her file for sure. Like, annoying stings and while people are trying to give her orders, accidentally throws grenades all the time and hurts her comrades, all of that. What's the situation? We rig the mass driver up top. If we lose that, the automat's no covering fire. She'll never make orbit. Whoa. No bolts and keys. But I had the pad. I Copy. will clear we'll the platform for right. him. Clear an LZ. I'll meet Back you up. there. Phantom. Well done, sir. All right, six. This is it. It is. Music is so good. Okay, let's try this a little differently. No bolts keys, but had the pad. Copy, Noble. My pelican's ready. Clear He's got LZ. such a good voice. Who did that? Because if that was someone 
team, fuck you. I mean, just kidding. It's fine. No biggie. No, Controller. Clear an LZ. I'll meet you there. Thank you, hey, Yingo. I'm in position. I'll take out as many drop ships as I can. Hello. <laughs> I am purple like the aliens. She did that on purpose. No, she a hundred percent did that on purpose. Copy, Noble. My pelican's ready. Clear an LZ. I'll meet you there. I'm in position. I'll take out as many drop ships as I can. I'm safe in my little love bubble. Ah! I didn't know he could come in. What? They're like, but you said we were hot. You said smash. You can't do that. You can't come up behind me. I've been trying to do that to you. I can't figure it out. <coughs> do not enter the love bubble without consent. Copy, Noble. My pelican's ready. Clear an LZ. I'll meet you there. I love that he says, like, clear an LZ like it's the easiest fucking thing in the world. I'm in position. I'll take out as many drop ships as I can. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be aware. <laughs> Why are you here? How did you get here so fast, sir? It's not funny. It's not funny. You think it's hilarious? Oh, I got a checkpoint. Your username. dead because I took my goddamn time with this fight. Out of ammo? you got to be killing me. And more of these? Ugh. 
How to play it. I don't know how to play Halo 5 because I don't have an Xbox. Oh, he's on the big cannon. Okay. Good job. I'll let you do that fun thing. Well, Yeah, Halo 5 is only on Xbox. Maybe if I take a break, because I do plan on taking a break after Reach and we'll watch forward until dawn and we'll watch some stuff. So there still will be Halo content, but I'm gonna take a break to play something else. And then maybe by that time it will be on PC. <laughs> you hear that Xbox? Does Xbox ever port to the exclusive one? In this day and age? Well. <laughs> She's crazy, I love her. Oh, okay, cool, Bo. Voices can't play Halo 5, that sucks! How long, when did it, was it released? Halo 5. I mean, we could maybe time it correctly. I don't know. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. Really? It's never ending. Um. I mean, I feel like this is the end of the game, so. Is Emil the sole survivor with her? I would love that so much. Wait, what if him Emil is in Halo 5? Oh, sorry. That would be amazing. He would be the one I want. Well, maybe Cat. You're the one that I want. You are the one I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The one that I want. You are the one I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The one I need. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Say it to my face, bitch. <gasps> no spoilers? That gives me hope. I've already watched so many people die, so... Arbiter 
and Garrus? Do you think Arbiter and Gary would be friends? <laughs> yes, I think that Gary the Snail would be great friends with Arbiter. You land on your throne, I'm King. Away. Yeah, you land Six. on your throne. Time for you to leave. What do you mean? Get the package to the bag and get your ass off this plane. I've got your back. But you'll get off the planet too, right? This is Keys on hot approach to Platform Delta. Ready to take possession of the package, Noble. Oh, Garrett. Garrett's. From Mass <laughs> Sorry, I use I use humor to cope. By the way, you can tip my mods. They're doing a really good job. Good to see you, Spartan. Halsey <gasps> assured me I could count on you. Not just me, sir. They'll be remembered. Zaddy. Cruiser, adjusting heading for the autumn. Noble 4, I need fire on that cruiser or we're not getting out of here. Do you copy? I have your window, sir. Oh, he's in, the, yeah. Okay. Rich, this is the captain. We have the package. Returning to the auto cover. Copy that. Well, that's not nice. That's not very nice. Eunice coming to sit beside me. Is something bad gonna happen? Oh my god. Oh shit, Emil. Who's next? I'm ready! How about you? Lieutenant, get aboard! We gotta get the hell out of here! Negative. I have the gun. What? Good luck, sir. Good luck to you, Spartan. I'm done. I'm done. Cut the show. Cut the show. I'm done. Are you kidding me? Are you actually Noble kidding me? Get on that mass and clear me a path. This is not a funny joke. Also, give me that. Why can't I take it? Are you serious? <sighs> that to me was probably the coolest death. kicked your friend's ass. Keys, can you actually pick me up? I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't want to go to this party. I want to go home. I think she also wanted to stay on reach with the rest of her team. Like, I, I they might have been fine without the... Gun. She just had to go out with her team, which is really depressing. Maybe she'll be fine. I don't think so. Yeah. 
Ouch. Aren't they gone now? They're like literally gone. So, can you circle back around and pick me up, please? <laughs> please. Are there any more cool guns and such here? I got a shotgun. Nice and quiet, like Jun says. We've got multiple craft bearing down on us. Well, come on! Did I get a checkpoint? <laughs> ah ha ha. Okay, you can release them from emote only jail. I'm gonna release them. They're like screaming and crying. Freedom! <laughs> were you silent or were you silenced? Okay, gotcha. Oh, 
Okay, I can't do it like I can't run. I can't run. Okay, we got this. We got this. Can you imagine if she was like keys? Negative. I've got the gun. And she turns around and just dies by a grunt. Like, okay. Guess that's the end of her. It didn't work! Oh, it did. Okay. Now we're here. Is this the actual, like, last part? Pineapple. Or is there more gameplay? <laughs> you got this. That, those are pretty poetic. <laughs> they look like Borderlands right now. I thought you were dead, dude. That's so true. Yeah. Please, can't you give me a checkpoint here at least? At the very least? How did Emil get up here? There's one more bit, okay. I think he saw me. We've got multiple craft bearing down on us. A check by! Sorry. <laughs> won't be set exactly noble six walked so master chief could run Oh. Where 
was he? He was like... Oh. Here. Yes! How do I... Oh, I have to... Okay. And driver won't crack those shields. Steady spark. What? Epilogue. Cortana, all I need to know is did we lose them? I think we both know the answer to that. I love that he cares. He cares about the Spartans so much. And it's something I realized with Reach, reading Reach. He is aware he was complicit, even though Halsey didn't give him all the information. And he's like, it was wrong. <sighs> and he's just like, they're human. Oh my God. Oh, that is so perfect. Oh, that is so perfect. So he's in, he's about to be woken up. Master Chief is about to be woken up. Wait.
whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Not the crack. No, that's like the beginning. Health pack. I can repair it. Are you serious? Are you serious? Girl. It didn't take long for Reach to fall. Our enemy was ruthless, efficient, but they weren't nearly fast enough. For you had already passed the torch. And because of you, we found Halo. Unlocked its secrets, shattered our enemy's resolve. Our victory, your victory, was so close. I wish you could have lived to see it. But you belong to Reach. Your body, your armor, all burned and turned to glass. Everything. Except your courage. That you gave to us. And with it, we can rebuild. Thank you. I still hate you, though. I'm traumatized. Cool. I'm traumatized, though. That was... Wait. There's not even credits? There's not credits? So what about, so everyone died. They were, were removed by 343. Three. Why? Why? Oh, because Halsey's alive. Okay. They had a farewell message from Bungie, so they were like, no, nope, you can't say goodbye. Crafty witch. I think that's my favorite one. I think that's my favorite one. Fart Smella, thank you so much for that. <laughs> 
I think I missed people. I think that's my favorite. No, I think I got everyone. Yeah. Um, I think that's my favorite because it's personal and it's you. And I love that they said you, you, you pass the torch, you know, and um, oh, I wanted to read <sighs> finishing fall of reach when I did. I'm really glad I did before I finished this because there was a quote. from the book about Cortana and how she chose Master Chief and to be included in that. Yeah. So it was when she learned, it was when she learned what Halsey did to the Spartans. She continued absorbing the data from the Master Chief's files. She learned of the augmentations he and the other Spartans were made to endure the brutal indoctrination and training they had received and how he had been abducted at the age of six and a flash clone used to replace him in an Oni black op. All of it had been authorized by Dr. Halsey. Cortana paused for a full three processor cycles, churning this new data through her ethics subroutines, not comprehending how could Dr. Halsey, who was so concerned for her Spartans, have done this to them. Of course, because it was necessary, there was no other way to preserve the UNSC against rebellion. Was Dr. Halsey a monster or just doing what had to be done to protect humanity? Perhaps a little of both. Cortana erased her stolen files. No matter, whatever the Master Chief had been through in the past, it was done. He was in Cortana's care now. She would do everything in her power short of compromising their mission to make sure nothing ever happened to him again. Um, and I just love that because I'm like, I wish I had a Cortana. I literally said that and you can go to the Discord. I posted, if only everyone had a Cortana. And we do <laughs> like that was probably my favorite thing in the whole series so far because it stays with you. She's like, you know, I chose you right to master chief and then you get to be chosen um, and you can have like your head cannon or whatever. But also it's just like it brings the player in and it forces you to personalize it um, and like, it's just really beautiful to me. That really hit me. And I love Cortana so much. I love how she loves Master Chief. And I love that she knows so much and then chooses her people. It's just such an honor. I wonder if she would have chosen Chief. Well, I thought that she did choose Chief before this. Because they had gone through some field tests, right? <laughs> yeah um i think the i think that the death that hit me the hardest honestly was carter and he wasn't my favorite um he wasn't my favorite character but that death like it was just really, I don't know, because he was flying and you could hear Dot being like, your vitals, your vitals. And he was just so focused and like, I don't know why that one just really hurt me. You could probably tell. No, that's not. It's not. No, it's not. That's not why she chose Chief. Just his luck? No. If you're talking about Cortana, no. It's more personal than that. Um, at least what I read. She saw his eyes. She saw a picture of him. She was like, who's this? She's naughty. <laughs> and that's why I think like with my noble six, I think that she likes 
people who break the rules. Um, in the book, she also, she literally, like Halsey can't control her. <laughs> Halsey's so frustrated with her. She breaks rules. She goes into restricted places to get information and data. Um, she's sassy. She doesn't wait for permission. And I just remember her being like, oh, he has like an animal element in his eyes. And she was just being all cutesy. And she just, it wasn't just luck. It was him because I mean, you, I feel like you could either believe in luck or you couldn't. And for me, I think, yeah, maybe it's luck, but it's also kind of cheap to say Master Chief is just lucky because he's a good commander. He follows his intuition. He's adaptable. He has significant reflexes. Like he is, it's more than just luck. And I think luck means a lot of things, you know, because he, yes, he has gotten lucky, but he also makes good decisions. And Kelly, you know, I, what I love about Master Chief 2, learning about the rest of his Spartans, Spartan 2s, was like Kelly was the fastest other people had other skills and he was just he was the leader <laughs> he could rally he could he didn't necessarily have this extra important skill and I think that's the same with Noble Six he was just a super person Chief already had Cortana with him yeah Six delivered a fragment of Cortana info on the pillar six delivered a fragment containing if info, but it was her in it, right? Okay, I'm about to go get the book because e Wait, how would they not know about Halsey? I need y'all, if you're going to say something so confidently, you have to back it up with sources. I'm going to go get my book. You see Yuna's head? If you had only played the games. Oh, Halsey isn't in. The oh. Um. No, I know. There's also like, I just want to. Uh, I'm going to say what I want to say. And like, I have my opinions. And I know people feel very strongly. I think there are some. First of all, there's this whole tension within the Halo community of like Halo is alt-right and all this bullshit. And so we might have some people here because there's a lot of people here who believe that and are like more pro-military, blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm just going to tell you what <laughs> I gathered after playing the three, four five Halo games and reading the book. This is what... Okay, I did not... Highlight it. Who says that? Go to Twitter and search Alt-Right Halo. The book isn't going to help you understand the game. They weren't written to match up. Yeah, she's a gray area character and you can either like her or you don't. There's no right thing. I'm telling you what I gathered and how I interpret it. And the book existed before Reach, so...
the game. She's definitely a great area character. And I've heard that some of the other books actually humanize her a bit more. Okay, I found it. Please, guys, listen to this. It's so cute. I listened to it, too. And the... The author did such a... Or not the author, sorry. The voice actor did such a good job. The narrator. Uh, Cortana leaped to her feet, turned her back to Dr. Halsey and examined the photographs on the wall. She brushed her fingertips over the glass surfaces. Which one will be mine? Which one do you want? She immediately gravitated to the picture in the center of Dr. Halsey's collection. It showed a handsome man standing at attention as Vice Admiral Stanforth, Stanforth, Stanforth pinned the UNSC Legion of Honor upon his chest, a chest that had already overflowed with citations. Cortana framed her fingers around the man's face. He's so serious, she murmured. Thoughtful eyes, though. Attractive in a primitive animal sort of way, don't you think, doctor? Dr. Halsey blushed. Bitch. Actually, she... Oh, apparently she did think so. That's fucking weird because you met him when he was a child, but sure. Cortana's thoughts mirrored many of her own, only unchecked by normal military and social protocol. And I don't think that's true because, yes, it's like the basis of Dr. Halsey's brain and her matrix and stuff. Um, but I think this is the pers through the perspective of Dr. Halsey, who I believe is pretty kind of narcissistic. And so she's just like putting that on her. At that point, Cortana was so much bigger. And she even says it, the, t the freaking page before she said... Um, Cortana was a smart AI, an advanced artificial construct. So it, it's just not her because she's already learning new information and adapting her own personality. Cortana was special. So-called dumb AIs within the set limits of their dynamic memory processing matrix, matrix were brilliant in their fields, but were lacking in creativity. Deja, for example, was a dumb AI, incredibly useful, but limited. Smart AIs like Cortana, however, had no limits on their dynamic memory processor matrix. Knowledge and creativity could grow unchecked. So it's not you, bitch. It's not you. She's her own thing, but sure. You fucking weirdo. <laughs> she a fucking groomer. She has a lot of human traits, yeah. Um, Perhaps it would be best if you picked another. Cortana turned to face Dr. Halsey and cocked an eyebrow. Mock stern. You asked me which one I wanted. It was a question, Cortana. I did not give you carte blanche to select your carrier. There are compatibility issues to consider. Cortana blinked. His neural patterns are in sync with mine within 2%. Is that luck? No. With the new interface we'll be installing, that should fall well within tolerable limits. In fact, her gaze drifted and the symbols along her body brightened and flashed. I have just developed a custom interface buffer that will match us within 0.081%. You won't find a better match among the others. In fact, I can guarantee it. I see, Dr. Halsey said. She pushed away from her desk, stood, and paced. Why was she hesitating? The match was superb. But was Cortana's predilection for Spartan 117 a result of him being Dr. Halsey's favorite? <laughs> And did it matter? Who better to protect him? Uh, Dr. Halsey walked over to the picture. He was awarded this Legion of Honor medallion because he dove into a bunker of Covenant soldiers. He took out 20 by himself and saved a platoon of Marines who were pinned down by a stationary energy weapon emplacement. I've read the report, but I'm not sure how he managed to do it. You've read his CS CSV? I'm reading it again right now. Then you know that he is neither... The smartest, nor the fastest, nor the strongest of the Spartans, but he is the bravest and quite possibly the luckiest. There you go. And in my opinion, he is the best. Yes, I concur with your analysis, doctor. 
Could you sacrifice him if you had to, if it meant completing the mission? Could you watch him die? Cortana halted in the processing symbols, racing across her skin, froze mid-calculation. My priority alpha order is to complete this mission. The Spartan safety as well as mine is a beta level priority command. Emotionlessly. She replied emotionlessly. My chief is definitely not the Spartist. Good. Dr. Halsey returned to her desk and sat down. Then you can have him. Cortana smiled and blazed with brilliant electricity. So I feel like, yes, it is. It's luck. It's like that solidified the decision for her. But I think that she loved him for a lot of different reasons, you know? Why are you talking about the librarian? Oh my God, you are so... Can you please ban that person? Oh my God. What? They said that the librarian literally programmed. Him. Well, when would I have learned that? I'm trying to make myself feel better. Oof. -da. I can't. I. I can't believe that. <laughs> I refuse to believe that. Halo 4. Okay. Um. So Chief's like a chosen one? Well, we'll see, I guess. I'm kind of just like... Because... Then what the hell is the point of being alive? What is the point of being alive? If it's coded in your genetics, some people are luckier. Oh, you learn in a massive expedition dump. That person kept... <laughs> that person was saying... What? <laughs> His sh their shadow self took over. <laughs> what? Um, well, okay, okay, so I do have a pineapple question. If you could just... Um, answer it, like, kind of just yes or no is it really that simplistic that like it's something to do with coding genetics and like it's not like there's no free will is it that simple okay that's all i needed to know um because we do know like i do know that the forerunners there's there's a reason why humans are special and like the reclaimers and whatever so i do know that there's some level of creation and all of this that would be quite interesting because then that explains why him and cortana have a similar brain structure because she said well we're already such a good match because he was almost created too but the forerunners are like the first civilization in assassin's creed Oh, they didn't really agree with. So interesting. There are people like me who see that and they're like, oh. He lives home. No, I didn't know that. I did not pick that up. Oh my gosh. Hi, Winter. They saw themselves become the... <laughs> Oh, no. I think that's something I have to prepare myself for. Hi, Caleb. Um, I have to prepare myself for because it seems like the lore is a little murky. Is that correct? I don't know. I. What? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I couldn't find your card. That's great. 
Thank you. My Lisa Frank sugar cookies. I might try Halo Wars. Um, thank you, Ashio. And thank y'all for talking to me. And I have, I did read, um, and Taurus Angel, I love what you said about that. Yeah, and, um, oh, what was I? Okay, so also, um, this is something I think I'm going to have to deal with with all of my fandoms, because I have a lot that I'm hyper fixated on, including Halo, if you can't tell. Star Wars. I'm reading the Revenge of the Sith novelization. It is so beautiful it's the best movie novelization oh my god but apparently it's not canon i think um so this is something that i'm like flustered by in various fandoms i'm like what is true like what can i confidently tell people like if i'm talking about palpatine or i'm talking about anakin like what can i state as truth because then there's like fights in the comments and um my mods have been trying to moderate like lore arguments and stuff so it's like what how do how do y'all handle that right jay jay june <laughs> bungie left the forerunner lore kind of vague but 343 three filled in the gaps and expanded on it which i think some analytical brains will like i don't like that too much because it kind of feels like with assassin's creed like you don't need to know that information. It's like, I don't know. With the caveman and the dinosaurs. <laughs> Acknowledge only the good. <laughs> Easter egg. Lone wolf? The only non-canon thing in Halo is Spartan 1337. Yeah, I love him, though. And I wish he was canon. Come on. It reminds me of Bizarro. I watched uh, another Bizarro episode last night. Bizarro's World. I cried my fucking eyes out. But I kind of... I wish 1337 was real because... What if some Spartans make it and, like, they are really good in some regards, but then really bad in others? Like, what do you do with them? Oh, a Master Chief Easter egg? You lose the magic. Right. It's like, for example, I wouldn't want to know the secrets of the universe alive while I'm alive here. I like the mystery. The mystery is fun. There were only 152. Maybe he chose 1337. I'm just kidding. Now that you completed that, there's a buck Easter egg during the new Alexandria mission. So he was... Okay, cool. Right. And then suddenly decanonized when it contradicted what story they wanted to tell. Halo Evolutions. Yeah, I'll watch anything. A lot of it was teased in the Halo 3. Yeah, with the... I was interested for sure. The librarian, didact. Um, it was interesting, but I didn't know that... Oh. Yeah, I guess... I guess they were hinting at it. But I, I just kind of interpreted it as, like, not that they were gods or anything, but a first civilization similar to like greek and roman gods you know that might not be the top of what why we're here the creation of the universe whatever but they're like the first and they're the original it's kind of what i believe honestly i'm like the more i i research greek mythology and roman gods and planets i'm like this is kind of eerie and cool Oh, the side missions you do in New Ex Alexandria are randomized, and one involved rescuing Buck. Oh. 
Zeus a freak for real, for real. And it's what I love about Greek people is they're just like, everyone knew Zeus was a freak. Like that's a cool kind of mythos and religious thing where like you don't actually have to believe, but you can all agree Zeus is terrible. <laughs> I want to go to Greece. <gasps> and when you rescue him, the guitar music from ODST plays. Forerunner Saga books dives deep into that subject. Okay. <laughs> all non-canon. I think that, you know, it's all, it's important to remember it's all within what we enjoy and what resonates with us. So like someone said um, before, you know, just take the good parts. So for me, wait, never mind. I think the chosen one is interesting, but for me, it's more meaningful for Chief to have been just like, yes, uh, uh, a strong and genetically viable or whatever kid, but I think it's more meaningful that Cortana chose him and connected with him for reasons that weren't just luck or fate, and there was more of choice and free will involved. I love Norse Smith too. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Mona Lisa. Oh, cool. Mona Lisa. Yeah, just pick and choose. Reality can be exactly what I want. Or what is it? Thanos? Exactly, foe. And maybe some people... And I do believe, like, you can have boons and gifts from the gods or, like, if you want to open yourself up, this is genuinely what I believe, and people are going to be like, which? But it's true. <laughs> it's what I believe. Um, like meditating, and I'm I'm genuinely open to anything, and I've seen miracles take place, but it's more like a little boost. It's not free will. Everything is determined. Sorry, not free will. Pre, everything is predestined. You're not making choices. I think it's a little bit of both. We don't even have a canon King Arthur tale. That's true. I don't, I'm not even sure what's canon in my real life. <laughs> I don't, I don't trust my memories. <laughs> so I don't, I can't even have a, a canon Meg Mage life. Oh, for sure, Silver Hawk. And I that's why I love being goofy because it's it feels like the trees are laughing sometimes. And like the I'm in my cuckoo bananas era. Don't even judge me. <laughs> Hidden lore. Oh shin. So I think Naruto, someone said I could just watch Batman Beyond and Justice League at the same time. And I think I'll do that. Exactly, Fable. Exactly. I think it's also the game, and then it's also some people who get up in arms about it. But it seems like everyone's pretty cool here. Hey, Kurgles. I am going to watch Justice League. So I think I'm going to watch both of them at the same time. I only get mad when it's like people are really rude to others when I'm like, the whole thing is supposed to bring us together. That's the only time I get mad at this point, I think. Or it's like, that's wrong. That's wrong. How could you interpret it that way? I'm like, oh, I did. Well, papers like I do that. <laughs> 
hello, I do that. But I know who you do it for. You do it for Loki in Marvel, don't you? And I love doing that too. I shit on Odin whenever I fucking can. And I love Loki. It pisses Marvel fans off so much. And it's actually fun to be chaotic. Um, I definitely have boons from Loki. I definitely have like gifts and I've been blessed by him for the worse and the better. <laughs> Loki is a villain! Genocide! Oh, you're very loud about fake genocide instead of real ones that are happening right now. Okay, cool. The death of the author, the author's interpretation is just as valid as anyone else. This is just my view. That's so cool. Ooh. I have not on my not on my videos. People get very mad. I love well, because I love to talk about how Odin is a bad dad, dude. Like he's a narcissist. <laughs> Anyways, it's just fun to be a troll sometimes. Um, I loved that. I thought it was beautiful and i think it's my favorite because of the subtleties in the relationships and expressions the acting the music everything just came together in a very beautiful way but then also um having that team beside you and and kind of learning how to work with the team and understanding what they're saying cuz i remember re being really confused at the beginning and being able to see or interpret their expressions through their body language, their voices, and very minimally their faces is like a huge undertaking, but I feel like they achieved it. It was really brave in my opinion, and it worked out. And like it has such a replayability factor um, and there were no missions that I didn't enjoy. I think Halo 1, 2, 3, even ODSD, there were some missions that I would 100% skip if I played it again. Oh, by the way, you have a sister that will destroy the world if you don't stop her. Okay, bye. <laughs> Odin. Yeah. Um, and then it also just gives this context to this very intense war and event that happened this military travesty. And I feel like it's a really good learning lesson too, because as humans, we forget history so quickly, like the way we've forgotten World War II, Vietnam, so many things that have happened in like the pre-recent past and like the new generations and even the ones that like saw the, the end of it just so easily are like, oh, well, who cares? Even like COVID people not taking taking it seriously when Stop right there, criminal when history tells you the plague fucked our shit up. Bumbo, thank you for the raid. We all got out of gum. I can spare some. I have a lot of bazooka bubble gum. Um, exactly. And COVID was horrific, you know? is horrific it's still happening and it's like it's it's wild um but i do like that it, it gave meaning to remember reach remember reach because you it was you and you passed the torch and i love that saying because we probably won't be around to see the fruits of our efforts like if you want to be a good person. You want to put good out into the world. We're probably not going to see that. And the idea that we're passing the torch to someone. Also, did you know that Lucifer wasn't originally Satan? And that Morningstar and Lightbringer comes from him bearing the torch. Because he is, he is um, a Roman lesser deity. And he's Venus. Morning star, and he's always he's always holding a torch. Yep, Fable. Yep. 
Moses with horns. Bro is always lit. Venus? Yes. Yeah, poisoning the well levels, middle age madness. Exactly. It's like sometimes I find comfort in that, like seeing the graf graffiti in Pompeii, and I'm like, oh, humans are the same. But then it's also like, oh, humans are the same. <laughs> Because we can't even just do the bare minimum to take care of each other. Like, wash our hands and get vaccinated. Anyways. Um, but yeah. Why was I talking about loose? Oh, passing the torch. It's, a gr it's like so devastating, but it's also reassuring. Because it's like, well, we know that they... They might not have survived. They might not have achieved everything that they want to achieve, achieve the Spartans and specifically the noble team, but the torch was passed. Knowledge was passed. And I, I don't think I can live this life without being an optimist. So I think that's true for real life as well. More cats, less plague. They just wanted to blame it on something. Team Noble went out as heroes. Okay, cool, Crumpet. Yeah, I'm like a realistic optimist because I'm like, I'm not throw your hands up and I throw my hands up, play my song. I do have a strong sense of justice and I will fuck you up <laughs> if you mess with anything, like if you mess with my people or whatever. Um, no, I'm learning how to like properly use boundaries, exile, gossip. We would not be here as humans if we did not have sh the, the tool of shame. The OG cancel culture, which was gossip, like that person isn't safe. Let's get them out for the safety of everyone. Um, that's stuff I'm learning. <sighs> The corrupted blood plague from WOW is used in medical fields even today. The way people acted during that resembles what's been happening the past few years. That's creepy, dude. I feel like that was Star Wars too, where I'm like, is George Lucas a little bit of a prophet? And The Simpsons predicting shit too? I think it's also just like smart people seeing where we're going because re history repeats itself. Um, but Star Wars is like so relevant. Like Star Wars is like my religion right now. <laughs> wow, Plague. I have to. Is there a video on that? Very Sagittarius of you, the sense of justice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love absurdism. I love absurdism. I actually do. I did a lot of research on absurdist theater. Waiting for Godot is like my fave. I love it. That's why I say gibberish. Shubi babadi kuparat. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Yeah, there's no point to being super serious in this life, I feel. And that's why, you know... Emil going down the way he did, he was still smiling and he's such like a, he's like a pessimist. We're not a, pe a pessimist, but he got like the, the bad boy vibes and he really contrasted George. I remember like the look, that subtle exchange when he was helping the daughter of the scientist and Emil was like, oh, then we all need one. Ugh. Like, it was a very subtle, quick exchange, but it could tell, like, they're almost opposites. Um, but I loved seeing him kind of have fun and bond with Noble Six at the end. And his death was, I couldn't even really cry because it was so epic. The way he just, like, was like, okay, you're going down with me. Which is kind of ironic for an elite. Because I feel like I saw that in the duel, um... I feel like Arbiter would be really proud. Thank you, Silver. I'm ready. Yeah. Yes, Will. I've seen clips. I'm currently watching um, Impractical Jokers, my dad's, but they did a collab with Eric Andre. 
and I've seen clips and I I'm gonna dive into that after it's got battle of Thermopylae vibes I know because they were sneaking up behind him it wasn't it wasn't honorable you know I think in George's case it's just a case of American Empire reaching its logical conclusions oh George Lucas I thought you meant George and I was like wait George and Reed <laughs> and then the release of Revenge of the Sith coinciding with the height of the Iraq war hmm the hidden enemy well I don't know if you believe what I believe but who's Palpatine in that case Roman Republic, yeah. I do like that, though, because it's... I am the Senate. Oh, If only there was just one big bad, I think that we have entities of evil within our own government. Um, well, American government. And I would say, like, Western, imperialist, whatever. <laughs> Elite, wait, no, I'm not ready. I want to do... I do. I want to do over stab. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of other stuff. And I think that we. Uh, we haven't even seen or uncovered the shit from the Iraq war and what. A, this is where I should touch my top lip to my bottom lip. Um, But the CIA is releasing its it's. They're declassifying their documents and we're learning. We're waking up. But it took a while, just like Palpatine, I feel like. <sighs> he, his nasty ass, he used so many people. Anyways. Hi, Aki. How you doing? He was a sociopath? I didn't really get that. Well, maybe sociopath. Oh, let me look up the concept art. Can I? Well, he doesn't take his hem helmet off, so why would he have scars? Oh, yeah, it was. I love that. He was afraid to die. Yeah. No, I feel like people who are actually sadists and stuff, they don't give that impression. Or, like, sociopath, maybe, but he was really sweet. Like, and I know sociopaths can learn. They can, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to stigmatize that. They can actually learn how to whatever. Um, but I, from what I know of men and women and everyone who act like that, it's usually a front. It's usually a front. Yeah. And I think he is desensitized and, oh my God, I can't guys. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? That's perfect. Oh my God, look at that man. <sighs> Everyone smooch him for good luck. He employed excessive violence as a coping mechanism. Even if he didn't say that, I believe it. Not bad looking. <laughs> smooch a scar. Mwah. Kiss the bald head for good luck. That was so less. I'm obsessed with him. Um, any fanfic? <laughs> any fanfic recommendations? 
that is perfect and that's kind of what i imagined you know so he's definitely a person of color is he is he a black man or is he did he say where he was from or like his ethnicity or anything wait i just saw on reddit is emil a black guy not a racist just want to know okay you don't have to follow up with that <laughs> Please, <laughs> not on Reddit. Don't go to our Halo, okay? Is Emil a black guy? Not a racist. He put it in like alternating capital letters. Just want to know. Just ask. <laughs> oh, he's black in concept art and he was on the nameplate that they gave out for Black History Month. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my Emil. So that's him there on the, the left, right? Oh, <gasps> George. Okay. Why do they have to be so attractive? Wait, no, no, no. Wait, who's that? Wait, I think some of them are new? Or didn't get in. So Kat is in the middle. Travis who? <laughs> yeah, they cut team members and that, I mean, that makes sense because you had to feel connected to all of them. concept art yeah carter is this from the second left but that's who i was thinking was i thought that was emil that was the picture i had up what i think i got confused Yeah, the, oh, sorry, I didn't even have. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, that's a that's a meal on the far left. Beautiful, Carter, and then that's a new person, and then that's Cat, and then that's Jun, and then I that's a new person, and then that's George. Oh, the OG. Oh, and he's smiling. He's the only one smiling. So that explains why they were so like, it felt like you were almost intruding. Did anyone else get that? That's an IM, what's an LMG? There's an Easter egg somewhere in Halsey's, Halsey Lab Emil. Someone said like, you can see his face there let's take a look and as you know in the past in halo reach in the entirety of halo reach we never actually get to see emil's face in game all members of noble team except for emil have had their helmets off at some point in the game but not emil now there is some concept art out there of what Emil's face is supposed to look like. And I love that. Look it. at the scars. This is the one and only piece of concept art I'm aware of that shows you what Emil's face looks like. But we never actually get to see it in game. Now, many years ago, I did a video showing you that if you got into the, the secret uh, lab or Halsey's lab on Halo Reach on a mission to package, it's like a little Easter egg you could do to get into her lab. Inside her lab, there's like a screen showing all the members of Noble Team, including you, as well as their faces and description. Now the text on the screen is too blurry to read, but you can make out the faces and who each member, member of Noble Team is. Now each member of Noble Team, their faces are pretty clear. It does get darker as it goes. And with Emil, unfortunately, it's pretty much too dark to make out any details. Uh, and then when you get to Noble Six or you, it's uh, well, you can't see anything. But it at is all. that picture, right? So it's that concept art. That was the best we could see 
back when I made that original video. So I figured I'd take another crack at it in 2022 and see if we can get like a better view of what Emil's face looks like in game in this case. So I used the tool to extract the texture for that. I tried to run it through different... Um, oh my god, this guy yeah, really went like, you know, <laughs> above and beyond. We don't really get... Who, did, who made this video uh, in my chat? Anyways, this is the best I can get from the original texture of Emil's face. Oh my gosh. That's what it looks like, the clearest I could get. It's the so, concept art. You know, it's still pretty blurry. You can't really make out too many details. So I ran it through an AI upscaling tool called Gigapixel and assumed that Emil was actually wearing <laughs> glasses. <laughs> so I think it looks like, I don't know. Like oh, that'd be cute. Like he has glasses underneath it. Um, so it's like, it's like a office, office <laughs> like worker version of uh, <laughs> <laughs> in the, like, a 9 to 5 desktop version Nerd. Of, of but yeah so i mean I, I guess the picture kind of looks like the concept art anyways maybe with a few differences here and there but i, I yeah so that that's the best we could possibly get it unfortunately there's no better textures in the game of emil's face and he doesn't actually have a face model in the game so there's not like some secret hidden face for him but the uh the halsey screen or the the, the screen in halsey's lab that's the nine to five like office worker i guess um, oh i was but... like that's the credits <laughs> that's the credits for reach <laughs> okay so he's hot that's all um general kid yeah i love him okay i'm gonna send you on your way on a raid and i'm gonna eat my lunch that was really fun. Thank you for emotionally supporting me. I genuinely really appreciate it. 